Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be reviewing this World OS version 2 for our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, in the World OS 2, we are getting the asset ported apps as you can see in going into the home screen settings and you can see about home screen. We are getting the Samsung Experience latest home and also the quick open notification panel if you just type it. I will just quickly open the notification panel so you need to just swipe down from here and if you open from here we will open the quick notification panel also we get the ad screen and this is from asset oreo so you can see the different type of ad screen also now the weather widget is shown it's now compatible so in some roms the weather widget was not available as a different slide so you can here customize or directly move here to the slides in the settings you have all the customization and just edit here and choose the apps you want that's really awesome it also has the edge lighting and it works like this you can go to edge lighting style and you can see how it works when any message or you can set to apps which can also change here multicolor also here available so this looks really awesome you can just apply and it will be like this so if any messages come or if you have messages uh, like incoming it will show you but it will not show you after screen off because this is not a set or noted and also this rom is too much reloaded so may not many apps are present here so these are some of the apps which i have installed and other apps are really like normal only we don't also get email app too so like this so also don't get the music apps it's fully reloaded and really awesome it saves a lot of storage into the advanced features we get this normal stuff the app lock the dual messenger the direct share feature and the multi window and uh, pop-up view so it works really good okay this is how the pop-up view works and multi window everyone know how it works also we can save your mini as if you want a uh, good multitasking and this uh, phone really does good multitasking with this rom and many other nougat roms so and the animations are also really good now let's see the available memory after we clear it and now let's clear the mb memories and it saves like 600 700 mb so maybe the cache and all to be cleared so 700 mb it will save now it's showing 600 and uh, for normal user it will save up to 800 it will go max so i don't know how on marshmallow i was getting like up to 1 gb max free also in the gallery we get the hide albums feature we can see and you can hide this album so next time anyone visits your gallery they won't see any photos but if they know the trick of like hiring albums so can just uncheck this and you can go here so your albums will be fine you can see your albums are here so that's a really awesome feature now on the home screen swiping to the left side we get the bixby cards no bixby voice because it doesn't support it can show the weather and all you can see the weather it'll stop your schedule if you have set any schedule like going to any like places so it really shows Samsung themes it shows and the GIF shows so really awesome Bixby also working so it's pre-built so no need to install it the Bixby card separately so guys that's it for the video review of the world OS 2 now let's move to the installation so for installing this ROM you need to power off this device let's power put your device into recovery mode the TWRP recovery so plus the volume of the home and the power key now into the recovery mode just go to wipe and here advanced dynamic system data cache swipe to wipe after wiping let's go back going to install and world os2 swipe to confirm flash it will take some like one minute to flash and then you will get reboot system you just need to use the reboot system and it will reboot into world os2 so only bug i found is the android system stops but it won't change anything it will not do anything so that's a really good daily drive also looking good edge lighting and all the oreo apps are there so that's a really awesome rom made by the 4pd developers so guys that's it for the video if you really like this video press the like button also if you don't like the video press the dislike button also subscribe down below in the subscribe button and goodbye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye and get subscribed